and higher, like Jonathan Livingston Siegel in the book by Bach, you just finally get up above and meet the great gull in the sky. Now, since we believe in God and not in that stuff, let me tell you right now, I'm not going to see a seagull. I'm going to see a great big God. High in the heavens. High above. Lifted up above. We're going to have a great time tonight. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. We're here Wednesday night, so strong. You can just cut it with a knife. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm telling you, I'm happy in my soul to see all of you. Look at somebody next to you and say, I am so glad to see you. Praise the name of the Lord. I am so glad to see you. say to them, you know, we're glad to see you. We want to see you as soon as you get back. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, Lord. All right. Praise our God. I want to welcome God's people. I want to welcome Brother, uh, they just came in Sunday night, and I went down to visit them and had to visit down they live not far from the church in a beautiful home here in East Bradenton. And I got acquainted with uh, a family, and uh, they're here tonight. And I, I want them to feel welcome, feel at home, and just know that they have arrived home. They've come home. I told him he's a sharp dresser. He wears expensive cowboy boots that I, I like. Brother Wallace, you want to get acquainted with this dog? And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get him up on his feet. And uh, he's a sharp dresser. And uh, I found out they have a lovely home. They welcomed me into their home. We had a great visit. And I want to introduce tonight uh, the couple back here in the very back, but they're part of us. They're going to be here with us. Lord willing, grace stands. Uh, but I, I'd like to welcome Jeanette, Sister Jeanette, and Brother Ed, uh, Brother Woodrow Edwards tonight. Stand up back there. Jeanette, praise the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. We're so glad to have you. Yeah, yeah. And be at home with us. These are nice folks, and I enjoyed being in their home. Thank you. God bless you. Don't live far from the church here. A lovely home. And I enjoyed visiting them and getting acquainted with them. And I, she's a sharp dresser. He is, and they love God. And uh, she put her cap on tonight because it got so cold in here Sunday night. And she said, Brother Marlow, I, I got it. I almost had ice on my head. I, I wanted I, I want to come back. But uh, so she put a little cap on tonight. Uh, we'll we'll adjust the temperature and get it right for everybody, and uh, try to make you at home and uh, be with us. Praise the name of the Lord. You know. I said, put on your cap. Uh, I told him he could wear his hat if necessary. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I'd certainly, I'd love to see God's people. I, all I care about is them being in the house of God amen. to hear the gospel. Amen. 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 amen, amen. I told Woodrow, I said, Brother Woodrow, I got to get you ready to go to heaven. So you got to stay around me. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I, I love good people. I love God's people. We're happy to see everybody here, everybody on the job. Good to see the people of God together on a Saturday night. And we want to pray tonight for uh, Brother Farias, the Lord help him. Yes, and hold him up and strengthen Brother Farias. He gave him some medicine. And he was seeing people in his room, uh, seeing uh, strangers come in and hallucinating on that uh, strong medicine they were giving him. but. Uh, maybe we went down and prayed it out yesterday. I hope we did. Uh, prayed those strange people out of his room. And he said, I wake up and see them there in that corner over there. And they're over there and they're trying to get in bed with me. And they're trying to uh, climb up on my bed. And I, I said, I was acquainted with that because many years ago, Sister Marlowe and I were, uh, we took a little short, very, we've seldom done this. We did it. Thanks 
many years, we've almost forgotten it, but uh, we took a little short vacation. Uh, we went up to uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas, and went to Anna and then over to Jonesboro, and, and uh, Paula liked to swim. She was a girl then home with us, our daughter, and me and her went down to the pool and went swimming, and a uh, little bit, and I got a crap in my arm, and. I uh, really found out what Bursitis, Brother Bursitis was like. Yeah. Have anybody ever run into Brother Bursitis in this church? Uh, he's a, he goes along with arthritis. He's got a brother named arthritis, but uh, Bursitis is much worse. And uh, so wound up in the hospital in Memphis, Tennessee, and, and they gave me a shot. The doctor said, I'm going to get you out of your misery. And we stayed in a hotel right across from the church, from the uh, from the um, uh, the clinic, the hospital, staying in a hotel there. He said, how far away? We told him, he said, hey, you get out of this room, emergency room, start going, walking as fast as you can, quick as you can there in Memphis, get over to the room because you're gonna be out of it for several hours. And I said, all right, I'm hurting so bad, I'm dying. Take me out for several hours. Just let me get out of this pain I was in. It's in such severe pain. He was true to his word. We started walking out the door across the street to the hotel and got up to the, um, I remember going in the lobby. Sister Ethel was coming right along with me and got in the elevator and got up to the whatever floor it was we were staying on. I can't remember now. You remember? Uh, you remember, my goodness, uh, the seventh floor. And we <laughs> got up there and I saw the corridor down to the room and we got to the room, opened the door, I saw the bed. That was it. I didn't see it anymore. I was gone. And uh, the next afternoon, about 4 o'clock, I woke up, and I was seeing green lizards on the end of my bed. And, and they were uh, playing all over my bed. Uh, I, I said, Ethel, get those lizards out of here. Get that monkey off this bed. Uh, and she said, there's no monkeys and there's no lizards. Uh, you're just waking up from that strong medicine. So I, I'll tell you this, he, uh, he remember when they mix some of that together, you don't know what's going to happen. I think Brother Ferris said something like that. And uh, so let's pray for Brother Ferris tonight. And God will help him and uh, get him strong. Sister Ferris, they're in the same uh, assisted living care facility. And we want to remember them. Brother Frost is some better, but uh, he still needs us to pray. And God will strengthen him. Raise Brother Frost up, give him strength. Let him get stronger, and then we want to pray for those that are away, Sister Lambert's out in Texas, Sister Mary Gay is up in um, Brooksville, and I think there's uh, others that are in other places, but we want to remember all of God's family tonight that we know about where they are, some we may not know where they are, we'll pray for them, ask God to help them, and to give them grace, and get them back on the firing line as soon as possible. Uh, we want to pray for the Skipper family and the, and the Eason family. I attended the funeral services First Baptist in Palmetto just about an hour ago. Gene Skipper, one of the boys, passed on, went on to his reward, whatever God has for him, and let's remember uh, the rest of the Skipper Eason family tonight in the region as they're needing prayer. And I'm sure that uh, Sister Christine Nelson would appreciate her name being lifted up. Sister mm -hmm. Christine Robinson um, with her brother uh, Harry that had surgery. And she's not able to be in the service tonight. Pray for these folks. For the C.B. Harper back there. He needs <laughs> prayer tonight. Had a dizzy spell trying to get a hold of him, keep him from walking straight. And uh, Sister Terrace Ann needs prayer. Uh, God help her also. Yeah. There's others. Yeah. Glad to see Sister Judy on the job. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the Dean died. Uh, Harris, all the uh, Brother Marty, May, rest of the folks that needs prayer. <coughs> just don't leave one out. If we can call their name, just call it and move on. Say, Lord, remember your people. Then we're also honored tonight to have two special, wonderful people. Those drums back there, I I really love the sound of those drums tonight. Yeah, yeah. I admire this gentleman. He's with us for the first time. 
He is a master uh, freshman of the drums. He has played the drums for high, high musical groups, uh, for noted people. Uh, he's appeared in uh, concerts and played across uh, the country uh, before some very noted people, concerts of all types. And we're, we're going to welcome mm. Brother Jack with us tonight. Uh, Jack Flowers, uh, stand up and take a bow for us, please. <laughs> this man, uh, he's going to play us a special, I think. Him and Lisa yeah, and Ginger, don't you have something? And you put it together, and uh, they're going to play us a special. We're going to enjoy it. Uh, and it's good to see Shirley down here with us. I'm really happy to have her. Uh, now, these folks, Shirley, Lorraine, and Jack, and Willie, uh, they all are residents of the assisted care living facility right up the street from us, and they live together and share fellowship, and now they're coming to church together. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we're just thrilled to have you. And Jack, it's a great blessing. I met him down there, talked to him at the assisted care home, and we got acquainted. I invited him to come be with us. We're just honored to have you tonight. We want you to be at home with us in an old-fashioned church, Jack. And we worship God from the heart. Yeah. And we say amen so loud the next note we hear. Amen. 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 We, uh, we, we say praise the Lord so loud sometimes. Uh, we wake up the neighbors around here. Old-fashioned and formal church. Well, it's not a cemetery. All right. <laughs> Quiet place, go down here to the end of the street. Right. And they're quiet. They're quiet. All right. They've been buried there since the Civil War. Yeah. And nobody's gonna say anything. I don't like that. I went by there walking. I went out for a walk. And I was walking down that street and I come by that graveyard. And I thought, I know you're not gonna get up from there, but I don't like being around you at 11 o'clock at night. I just moved on quickly. I like the living. Praise the name yeah. of the Lord. I like the living. I like the living. I like the Bible said the living shall praise. Yeah. 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 Is that one person in here tonight that hasn't praised the Lord? Praise the Lord. All right, we're going to do it together. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. He's good to you when you think you might be getting sick. He'll take you through it. Praise our God. Us is good God. All the time. Amen. Sister Marvel. I want to thank everybody that prayed for Joe Duncan. We got to sleep all night long Wednesday night. But he still needs your prayers, so don't stop praying. Also, let's remember Chris Castleman, Brother David Tracy's stepson. Chris yes. found out his father passed away. David just informed me before the service began that his stepson, uh, Sabrina's son, uh, and his son, of course, too, but a stepson and by legitimacy. But uh, Chris, he's been here in church <laughs> many times. And they brought him from a, a boy here as often as they could get him, Sabrina and David did, and uh, he just learned this afternoon that his biological father uh, died suddenly of a heart attack yeah. over in Palm Beach, and so let's pray for Chris Castleman and uh, ask the Lord to help him tonight, that's uh, the son of the family here, David, Chris, uh, David, Sabrina, and uh, let's remember Chris tonight and pray that God will help him, yeah. talk to his heart, and uh, all the rest of the deeds, I think we've got them all bundled up together right now. And um, I don't know if there's any position in prayer. I don't believe the Bible tells us there is. You can kneel and pray. You can stand. You can pray out loud, verbally, or you can pray silently. I'm going to ask everybody that will just to join me 
and arising if you can. If you can't do that, just where you're sitting. But if you can, that's just 